Hello, so this is just a quick demo of Physics Joins, a new feature that we have been working on with Andrzej Kiliański for quite some time now. And let's see how it goes. We have this new demo, Physics Joins More, uh, that we have kind of developed today actually. And let's see what do we have here. So the first is like a demo of the hinge joint. The idea of a hinge joint is, well, that's actually first easier to show, yeah? So it works a bit like a door. I mean, yeah, this is actually the, the main, I guess, use case for it. So the idea is that you have a joint and this joint has an anchor, this red ball, okay, this acts as an anchor. And from this anchor point, you also have an axis configurable as a rotation axis at each joint hinge. And the idea is that those two rigid bodies rigid bodies, this thing that represents a wall and this thing that represents a door, well, they are connected in such way that uh, one of them can rotate around this axis, okay? I mean, the door can rotate around this axis, but the wall is actually just a static rigid body, so it cannot move ever, okay? So when you do this, this thing happens and you can always, like, move it, okay? So you can, like, grab this thing, for example, now it works like this, okay? So it rotates around the anchor as you would expect, okay? Oh, you can also make it breakable, yeah? So you can do like this, and then some, okay? And then it went away, okay? So, so you can do fun stuff with those things. Okay, so that's a hinge joint, okay? Let's hide this demo. Let's show another one. So that's a ball joint. The idea of a ball joint is that you have something, uh, again, you have a, one rigid body connected to another, but this time at the, place of, uh, at the place of connection, at the anchor, they can kind of rotate freely around any axis. The rotation is not locked to any particular axis, uh, and this can result in basically in any kind of crazy rotation in response to some collision. Okay, so for example, let's see it like this, okay, and now it's actually even more evident if I will just remove and I will just do this, okay. So this one thing, it kind of goes crazy when it's hit with something, okay. It rotates, it rotates, it rotates everywhere around. Okay, so that's a ball joint, okay. What more do we have? So you have the grab joint, okay? So the idea of a grab joint is that it will follow the anchor, the world, uh, the world point handle, okay? It's specified here as a world point, three-dimensional vector. You can set it from code, of course. And during physics simulation, I can also, you know, just just grab it interactively and show you what happens, okay? So let's do this, okay? So this is the start of the simulation. Now let me grab the world point handle, okay? And when I do this, the cylinder, it kind of goes to this handle, yeah? It doesn't go there immediately. It goes there still like following some laws of physics. And this makes for a realistic movement. So this is great when you want, for example, to grab some object and you want this object to follow your mouse movement, uh, preserving some preserving some physical, let's say, realism, okay? So that's a grab joint, okay? And the last joint that I want to show today, let me just disable it, okay? And the last joint that I want to show today is the rope joint. Well, as the name suggests, it kind of simulates a rope, which means that one object is tied to another with a rope, which means that the distance between those two big spheres, well, this distance is limited, it is limited to distance 4, 4, four units, 4 meters, actually. Uh, we simulate the convention is that the unit is a meter here. Uh, so, so, yeah, so, so those two balls are kind of connected. This ball is stationary, it's not dynamic. I mean, at the rigid body it has dynamic force. This second ball is fully dynamic, but it is tied to the first top ball with a rope. Okay, and let's see what happens. So, like this. Okay. Don't pay attention to this small ball, there's just a bullet to make some movement. Okay. 
just look at those two big balls and how this thing behaves as if it was like tied with a rope to this first thing. Alright, and that's it. Thank you.